In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up a multi-stage time transformation simulation in ANSYS CFX Pre for a one and a half stage Aachen turbine. In order to efficiently simulate the transient performance of the turbine, I have set up a steady state simulation CFX Pre, which I will submit to the solver. The values from the simulation will be used to set the initial conditions for the succeeding transient blade row problem. In a few minutes, the solver has found a solution. Next, I will return to the originally defined problem in CFX. All of the basic settings, boundary details, and physics settings are the same, but instead of a steady state case, I want to perform a transient blade row analysis. With this new analysis type set, I must change the interface models to account for the motion of this piece of turbo machinery. The transient rotor stator option model should be used any time it is important to account for transient interaction effects at a sliding interface. It predicts the true transient interaction of the flow between a stator and rotor passage. Next, I will set up two time transformations for the rotor 1 domain. One at the rotor 1 to stator 1, and a second at the stator 2 to rotor 1 domain interface. The main advantage of the time transformation method is that I can solve a transient blade row problem on one or a few blade passages per row and therefore quickly obtain a solution. There are some restrictions involved. Time transformations are only valid for compressible flows with pitch ratios varying between 0.75 and 1.4, but this range becomes narrower as the rotational speed decreases. Fourier transforms can be used to avoid these limitations but are computationally more taxing than the time transformation. However, they are still more efficient than the full wheel model. With my transient blade row problem defined, I will transfer the case to the solver. In the ANSYS CFX solver dialog box, I can define the initial values of this problem with the solution file produced by the steady state simulation. The ability to use the time transformation method on a multi-stage case is advantageous. It provides improved aerodynamic performance predictions over steady state mixing plane analysis with accuracy that matches full wheel transient rotor stator models. The solver has converged and the solution is ready for post processing. Another advantage of the multi stage time transformation method is that it allows me to post process the rotor signal, which can be used to determine the front and back row frequencies. However, for this demonstration, I will only look at the fluid's behavior. To do this, I must start by inserting a surface called span 50. I can plot a velocity vector map onto this surface. I will turn off the visibility of span 50 and inspect the velocity vector map. I will plot a pressure contour map, allowing me to inspect the pressure distribution across span 50. I will turn off the visibility of the velocity vector plot so I can quickly inspect the pressure contour map. I can select other time steps and observe the solution at each time point, or I can construct an animation to observe how the working fluid behaves as time passes on span 50. To do this, I need to specify data instancing for each domain. Data instancing derives solution variables on an expanded domain, allowing us to view the plot with the entire geometry rendered. I will make an animation using the keyframes method that shows how the velocity vector map changes with time. Keyframes define the start and endpoints of each section of animation. Keyframes are linked together by drawing a number of intermediate frames, the number of which is set by the number of frames field in the animation dialog box. My initial keyframe will be my first time step, and my final keyframe will be the 70th time step. Here is the resulting animation, which depicts the velocity map over the first 72 time steps. 
The multi-stage time transformation method has allowed us to obtain good transient blade loading in the middle row that accounts for the upstream and downstream blade passing excitation. This provides us with an accurate means of deducing engine order forcing response analysis. This concludes this demonstration showing the multi-stage time transformation capabilities of ANSYS CFX in a transient blade row problem.